October 16th, St. Gall, Abbot. St. Gall was born in Ireland soon after the middle of the 6th century of pious, noble, and rich parents. He was raised in a monastery during his youth under St. Columban and St. Comgall, his abbot. When St. Columban left Ireland, St. Gall accompanied him into England and afterwards into France, where they arrived in the year 585. In a wild forest, St. Columban founded the monastery of Anagray and two years later another in Luxel driven away by a hostile king the two saints withdrew into more propitious regions eventually going into switzerland near a village on lake constance the idolaters of the region were greatly irritated when st gall preached to them and broke three statues throwing the pieces into the lake many however were converted the disciples who had remained behind the two saints rejoined them at this place and built cells around the chapel when the saints learned that the hostile king who had driven them out of france now had conquered the swiss territory also st columban went into italy st gall was prevented by a grievous illness from accompanying him st gall had been ordained a priest by the command of st columban and now having learned the language of the region where he settled near lake constance he cast out demons lived in peace with the wild animals drove serpents from the valley and converted to the faith a great number of idolaters the cells which the saint built there for those who desired to serve god with him were attached to the monastery which bears his name many bishops with the clergy and people earnestly desired to place the saint in charge of the episcopal see of constance but his modesty refused the dignity and one of his disciples was chosen instead he died in the year six forty six our lord says if any one would be my disciple let him deny himself and take up his cross every day the denial of self is then the first step on the road to perfection